Okay, social studies, seventh grade, fall, midterm. Number one, which of the following describes the defining characteristics of the era of natural Texas and its people in Texas history? American Indian tribes lived in Texas and adapted to the environment. European settlers in Texas learned about the culture of the American Indian tribes. Number two, which of the following best describes the defining characteristics of the age of contact era in Texas history? Spanish explorers and French explorers both claim land in Texas. Spanish colonists abandoned exploration of Texas after not finding any gold. Number three, which of the following was characteristic of the Spanish colonial era in Texas? American Indian tribes were discouraged from settling in Texas. Missions were built to confirm Spanish claims to the land in Texas. Number four, one major change that occurred in Texas society during the Mexican national era includes the introduction of cattle ranching, the establishment of Anglo settlements, or the conversion of American Indian tribes. Number five. And you know I'm going to say these wrong. Frey Damien Massonet and Alonso de Leon led a successful expedition for Spain into East Texas in 1690. This expedition came about because the Spanish were concerned about settlers going missing in the region, slave rebellions occurring in the region, French forces establishing settlements in the region. Number six, what similarities did the Apache and the Comanche share? They were farmers who grew corn and other vegetables. They built permanent homes and gathered wild plants for food. They were nomads who depended on buffalo for survival. Number seven, in which region is Big Bend National Park located? North Central Plains, Coastal Plains, Mountains and Basins. Number eight, in which region will you find the natural landmark Palo Dura Canyon? Great Plains, Coastal Plains, North Central Plains. Number nine, the main purpose of the law of April 6, 1830 was to block Mexicans from settling in Texas in the trade between Texas and Mexico, stop immigration from the United States to Texas. Number 10, how did Anglo colonization of Texas differ from Spanish colonization of Texas? Anglo settlers followed impresarios with land grants. Anglo settlers colonized along the border with Texas, oh, with Mexico. Anglo settlers hoped to claim land for the United States. Number 11. Which of the following is a contribution of Stephen F. Austin to the development of Texas? He explored the Rio Grande and West Texas. He helped draft the Mexican Constitution of 1824. He founded the first large Anglo colony in Texas. Number 12. While the Constitution of 1824 created a representative government in Mexico, it specifically restricted the people's right to... Also, if you are going on Shoebox Christmas in the morning, if you... Number 12, while the Constitution of 1824 created a representative government in Mexico, 
it specifically restricted the people's right to own private property, start small businesses, freely practice any religion. Number 13. Which motivation led early European explorers to investigate the Americas? Desire to find gold? Desire to spread democracy? Desire to leave overcrowded cities? 14. What French explorer landed at Matagorda Bay while searching for the mouth of the Mississippi River? Rene Robert Cavalier Sir de la Salle, Hernando Cortez, Francisco Vasquez de Coronado. Number 15. The year 1821 is important in the history of Texas because it was the year that Moses Austin received permission to settle in Texas, Juan Seguin migrated to Texas with Mexican settlers, Spain granted independence to the colony of Mexico. Number 16. Which major Texas city was founded by Spanish colonists in 1718? Corpus Christi, Laredo, San Antonio. Number 17. During which year does Pineda map the Texas coast? 1519-1607-1658. Number 18. In which region of Texas did the Comanches live? Mountain and Basin region, East Texas, Great Plains. Number 19. How did the state colonization law of 1825 contribute to the development of Texas? It continued the impresario system in Texas. It allowed English to be spoken in schools in Texas. It granted Anglo settlers the right to establish schools. Number 20, decline. To end, to turn down, a crude fort. Crude fort. Number 21, Anglo-American, a white person that lives in the U.S. and who's not Span Hispanic or a representative of a group attending a formal meeting. Number 22, skirmish, an order that has the force of law, a minor fight, usually during wartime, a ruler with absolute power. 23. Scheme. A secret plan, perhaps dishonest, to achieve a goal. A person of mixed Spanish and Native American heritage. A district of a colony or country, similar to a state. Impresario, number 24. Impresario, someone who believes power should be concentrated in government, someone who believes in sharing power between states and government, the Spanish word for a land agent that brings settlers to a new area. Number 25, epidemic, a privately owned ship outfitted with weapons, the Spanish word for a land agent that brings settlers to a new area, a situation in which a disease spreads rapidly through a population. Number 26, reluctance. The buying and selling of goods and services. Unwillingness, a lack of enthusiasm. A small unit of a military force. Number 27, province. A district of a colony or country similar to a state, a privately owned ship outfitted with weapons, a difficulty, test of one's will. 28, privateer, a person who shares in a business, 
to find a way to pass over or along a body of water, a privately owned ship outfitted with weapons. Number 29, effect, to gain control of, an order that has the force of law, to act upon, or to influence. Number 30, delegate, a representative of a group attending a formal meeting, a person of mixed Spanish and Native American heritage, a group of citizens acting as a military force. Number 31, council, a group of advisors, a religious settlement, a group of citizens acting as a military force. Number 32, conquistador, a person who buys land with the hope of selling it for a large profit, a Spanish soldier, explorer, who sought personal riches and power as well as wealth and glory for Spain in the conquest of the Americas, or someone who believes power should be concentrated in the government. And number 33, accommodate, to apply a rule or law to carry out by force. B, to be flexible in the way rules are applied, or to bring in goods from foreign countries. And D is not a choice.